What if everything you knew, every comfort, every security was ripped away from you in a moment of time? What if the place you spent watching your kids grow up, sharing holidays and making memories, was suddenly stolen out from under you? On May 14th at 2.30 in the afternoon, this unthinkable nightmare became a horrifying reality for Matthew and Beverly Murray and their family. They saw the reflection of lights flash through their windows as sheriff cars pulled in front of their house. The Murray's yard had just been freshly mowed as usual. Mrs. Murray had just finished watering her plants. The Murray's youngest daughter was next door and sent a text to her dad. All it said was, please. An officer knocked on the door. When Mr. Murray answered, he could see she was backed up by another deputy, a plainclothes detective, and three men sent by Bank of America to evict them and lock them out of their home. What's perhaps most appalling, the Murrays had paid $43,000 to the courts in escrow payments in just two years. So why did the bank nor their attorney make any attempt to work with the Murrays on a modification after promising to do so? Because this is standard operation for Bank of America. Almost all of the tax-free dollars they took from the government to facilitate modifications is being used to wrongfully evict homeowners. Mr. Murray, she said, you and your family have to leave now. Not unlike millions of Americans, the Murrays experienced an unexpected reduction in income. Shortly thereafter, the Murray's youngest daughter almost died due to undetected type 1 diabetes. They were now facing less income and astronomical medical bills. They asked the bank for a modification to their adjustable rate high interest loan since they advertised regularly to help people in the Murray situation. In the end, they raised their payments by hundreds of dollars per month. The Murrays were being forced into foreclosure by the very people who were pretending to help them. In October and November of 2012, the Murrays received letters from Bank of America offering to help them. One stated they would assist them in obtaining a modification on or before December 12, 2012. But repeated calls only produced more dead ends for the Murrays. After speaking with people who have been on the inside, the Murrays now realize this is by design. These are carefully crafted strategies devised by the banks to rob people of their homes. It's evident Bank of America never had any intention of working with the Murrays. Not one of the many contacts the Murrays had made to Bank of America's Office of the President, nor the thousands of calls and letters made on their behalf, persuaded Bank of America to keep its promises. The bank was employing a tried and true deception called dual tracking. They were reaching out to the Murrays with one hand, but evicting them with the other. Bank of America has this one mastered. Bank of America was further defrauding the Murrays by coding their file as being in litigation when it was not. This effectively prevented the Murrays from talking to any of the Bank of America representatives who had contacted them until they could complete the eviction. Each time the Murrays attempted to pursue their modification, the representatives from the office of the president, Brian Moynihan, simply told them they couldn't speak with them. However, a critical slip of the tongue by two employees of Bank of America resulted in them admitting to the Murrays there had been, in fact, several cases open for modification review. One as far back as November 2012, and another as recent as May 8, 2013. We have obtained an email written by Bank of America's attorney to the Murray's attorney in which he vehemently denies a case for modification review was ever open. This completely contradicts what was told to the Murray's from Mr. Moynihan's office. When the Murray's tried to speak with these same individuals again, Mr. Moynihan's office repeatedly prevented them from doing so. The Murrays shared their story in an interview which was to air prior to their eviction on an ABC affiliate. It was discovered later that the story had been killed. Their informant simply stated there are people who need your story to go away.
Only days after the Murrays were evicted, they watched from next door as people came in and out of their house preparing it to be sold. The Murrays called Bank of America again to question why they had chosen to evict them and never even attempted to pursue the modification they had promised. Even after emails from the Murray's Council to the Bank's Council verified that this case was not in litigation, representatives from Bank of America insisted that it was. When the sheriff arrived at the Murray's, they knew that Bank of America had dealt what they believed was their final blow in defrauding them of their home. With the help of complicit courts and money-hungry lawyers, the same is happening to millions of Americans. There simply is no incentive for banks to work with homeowners. There's not enough profit in it. For the Murrays, their minds went blank trying to figure out what to take from their home. It was like watching a horror movie play out before their very eyes. It was surreal to think that they had paid all this money and not only did the bank take their home, but their entire escrow with it. They began grabbing everything they could and set it out of the house before the bank could lock them out. Driving past their house later that night, the Murray's daughters mentioned how odd it was that they could still see their curtains in their windows, but couldn't go home to their own beds. This is an outrage. It should have never been allowed, not by the courts, not by our lawmakers, and certainly not by us as Americans. This defrauding of America must come to an end. But the only one who can stop this behavior is you. The courts nor our lawmakers are doing a thing to prevent it. Laws are being violated and families are being put into the streets. The Murrays may be temporarily without a home, but they are not giving up their fight. They remain resolute to regain their home, but they need your help. Wrongful evictions are on the rise, so this situation affects all of us. The only way the Murrays can be helped is if others care enough to get involved. Please call Bank of America and demand they stop defrauding the Murrays and return them to their home. Refer to loan number 023-732-976. Also write Brian Moynihan, President and CEO for Bank of America at brian.t.moynihan at Bank of America demanding the same. The corruption must end. We can save the Murray's home if we work together. So ask yourself, is 10 minutes of your time worth making a difference in a family's life?